to it. Oh. What if I told you you could avoid punting off right after your aces get cracked. What's up everybody, Camilo here. And we're gonna look at a couple spots from Hustler Casino Live. I wanna show these to you because I think they're extremely relevant to your game no matter what level you're on. Yeah! So we get to the river and JRB decides he's gonna bet out. He's gonna actually slightly over bet. And Eric just, I mean, he just snap calls and sees the bad news. And you can even see JRB just kinda, ugh. You know, could have been. he's like, ooh, I just cracked aces in such a nasty way. <laughs> now, here's what's really important. We see Eric go for the rack, okay? He goes for the rack, he starts racking up his chips, right? Usually people leave when they do that, right? But the very next hand, he's gonna play, okay? So he's racking up, you know, he's getting over. JRB's still stacking the chips. And we go to the next hand. So this is back-to-back -back hands, right? Just like at the uh, Live of the Bike stream, back-to-back -back hands. You know, no time to really, you know, recoup, right? This is where taking that deep breath could really help. But what happens instead? Uh, Eric raises to 18,200. Okay. And Keating's gonna call. Now, Alan Keating, doesn't like to fold, doesn't like to fold pre-flop, doesn't like to fold on the flop. He doesn't like to fold for uh, pretty much anything. Allen flop set. Eric's gonna blind bet out here. I mean, Bart even, Bart Hansen, the commentator for this night, even says, you, you can see the steam coming out of his ears. I mean, it's incredible. He's gonna blind bet again. And Allen's just, you know, haha, I'll just play along. Okay, I'll just call. He's sitting on a monster. And then here we go, he boats up, and Eric's thinking. He's got that look. And here we go to the river. The river I know that look well. That's the suicide bluff look. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. See, he's got the rack. He's looking down, seeing how much chips he's got. He's thinking, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, here we go. Towards the end of the night. My goodness. Hundred fifty thousand left. Oh boy! Ah, he just shoves it all in. Just hundred fifty k and just oh gets God. snap calls, and he knows. I mean, so if you don't want to be that person who pushes that whole rack after you go on monkey tilt because your aces got cracked, let's take a deeper dive. It's gonna come down to what you do directly after losing this big hand, and it has to do with. And here, it has to do with breathing. In particular, take a deep breath. Taking a deep breath after your aces get cracked can help you in a number of ways. One, it's gonna get more oxygen to your brain. Your brain is your money maker at the poker table. But two, it's gonna stave off this fight or flight system, the uh, sympathetic nervous system. Why does that even matter at the poker table? Because your brain doesn't realize the difference between real and perceived danger. So think about any time you've been at work, you got yelled at, you were at school, you got yelled at, you're at home, your significant other, your parent yells at you. Have you ever tightened up? Maybe your adrenaline starts running. Maybe you're thinking, maybe you're not thinking, right? You, you say something that you later regret out of anger, right? Because the lizard part of your brain has now taken over. You're no longer able to think logically. You're no longer able to use the other parts of your brain, like the prefrontal cortex, that allows you to do complex decision-making. Fight or flight. Some players, they're not confrontational. They're gonna go into check call mode. They're gonna go super passive. They're gonna limp. They're gonna call three bets. They're just gonna try and get to showdown and win back that money. But the other types of people, now they're confrontational on the other side. They're gonna go on monkey tilt. As we watch these next spots, which do you think Eric Pearson is? Is he a fight or a flight? Let's pick up here. We're gonna speed it up until like the main inflection point we're gonna see, okay? So you're gonna see, he's just gonna bet right out into the field. Like, whoa, a little optimistic. You know, he's not the pre-flop raiser. Oh boy. 
So the turns of four the overall now has uh, bottom trips and a flush drop. He bet 70,000. So here he's kind of posturing a little bit, saying, come home, chips. You know, it's kind of funny. So he's putting max pressure on Yo Viral if he's got something like a six, something like a deuce, maybe pocket fives, pocket threes, or a bare flush draw. You know, he's likely going to fold. So, you know, in that situation, you know, if we're going to try and be results oriented, yeah, maybe he folds. But okay, so he gets called. Viral with the call. And now he's oh, he's cutting out more chips. I mean, everything bricked. Right? So if he thinks he's on a draw, yeah, I guess that works. He's got jack highs yeah. at the bottom of his range. You know, bluff makes sense, but. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> just put him back, put him back, put him back. Oh my gosh. Oh, you just. <laughs> They just bet 220,000 with air. No, yeah. Whew. I mean, he, he doesn't look happy, but he doesn't look scared. I mean, this guy's not scared. Scared money don't make no money, and this guy's definitely not scared. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. So he gets called, he, you know, he gets the bad news. And Yo Viral makes the call for you know, Those two hands were as a result of getting a, a good hand cracked and then the very next hand. I'll go back to what we need to do. Take that deep breath. Get that oxygen back into your brain to stop yourself from, you know, thinking why me, fuck this guy, stupid hands, I hate poker. You know, you're taking these deep breaths. You don't have time to think like that because if you concentrate on the the inhale and the exhale, your brain won't have time to react in that fight or flight. And you can tell right now, my speaking voice is slowed down a little bit as a result of taking that deep breath. You wanna be able to slow yourself down if you're the one who just got a big hand cracked. Or just get up. If you know, like, if you feel like, I'm gonna kill this guy, just, <laughs> just take a walk. Yeah, everybody's gonna know that you're taking a walk because you just got aces cracked. Who cares? It's your money. They're trying to take your money. Do you want to give it to them? Or do you want to make sure that you do everything in your power to make sure you take their money? If you got any value from this video, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.